So, welcome to the Happy Console Gamer Christmas Special. I'm here with Robman, and we are here. Why are we here, Robman? Well, we're here because once a year, of course, at this time, we get together, and we like to exchange Christmas gifts, and have some fun, and, you know, really reminisce about awesome Christmases gone by, get some nostalgia going, and just really enjoy how awesome the Christmas season is. So, for the first time this year, we thought we'd actually exchange presents and uh, let you guys see what we bought each other and see true reactions to us uh, opening each other's stuff up. We always like to get each other video game stuff, paraphernalia in that way, so, you know, it should be pretty cool. Alright. Alright. So, uh, I'll give you yours first. Are you sure? Yes. Alrighty. Let's do that first. So, here we go. So here we go, this is Rob Man's present from moi. Well, thank you. I have no idea what to expect on this one, actually. I've got to say, I'm, I'm excited. eBay is a good place. Oh, yeah. I don't think you'd be expecting this. Like, I'm kind of curious to see what you think. A cardboard box! I love I, this. I know, it's I like my it. favorite. Oh, my God, tickle me. I must be dreaming. I, I seriously don't know what this is going to be. He's told me it's not something I would ever be expecting. Oh my god. You are kidding me. Yeah. Oh my god. I that, just thought this would be cool. That is unreal. Oh, it is. It's mint. Oh, it's mint mint. It is a mint, super fresh, delicious Rockman Dash for the N64. As uh, I don't know a lot of folks know, I know anyway, a lot of the Mega Man nuts know, there's only ever been one Mega Man game on the N64, and they called it here, Mega Man 64, it was Mega Man Legends Remake. Yeah. Slightly better graphics, technically, mostly a straight port though, but an awesome game, and man, to have the N64 uh, import copy this fresh, that is, I, I know oh you, did you like it? Like, this, like, man, okay. this is awesome. Oh, it gets a place of honor on the shelf, buddy. Nice, nice. This well, is fantastic. I, you, know, I, you know, and I ordered it like a couple months ago. I was on eBay one night, and I'm looking around, and I'm like, and I'm like, uh, you know, I was just kind of looking at Mega Man stuff in general, and I saw that, and I'm like, you know what, I'm going to add to his collection, because I, I know we've, we've seen in another episode, you know, Rob Man's collection of stuff. I thought, let's just keep on adding to it. And I thought that was a good one. And now Rob Man has a little something for Mr. Happy Console Gamer. I'll let you do it. Uh, here it is. It's uh, a little something that I've organized for him. I hope he enjoys it. I did a little custom. I know if uh, you can see that. That's pretty it. awesome. That's Kabuki, you know, Kabuki from uh, the Forest of Eden series. But there, that's my favorite video game character of all time. And from the patented uh, Rob Man picture here, which is damn funny. It's awesome. I don't know what to expect either. So it's gonna be like yeah, it will be. It will be a similar experience. I think it's Guitar Hero. My God! <laughs> oh, oh my God! It's a, it's an express box. I've always wanted an express box. That's right. Now you have your very own express box from Sagawa. That's right, Sagawa. The leader's an express box. Um, I'm gonna need a <laughs> knife. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. you're all expecting what this is. Holy crap, Ola! Ooh, There's wow. more. Okay, okay. It's gonna sink in all of this stuff. Holy cr You know, this is totally insane, man. Holy crap. That would be Fantasy Star Portable for the PSP Import Edition, because it's not out here yet. And the very hard to get sold out accessory kit for your PSP that includes earphones, UMD cases, and a PSP case, all Fantasy Star. Now that's fucking awesome. So, yeah, I'm actually really swearing. Holy, like, I'm just totally taken back. This is such cool stuff, man. This is like so awesome. That's why I was really hoping it would get here in time. This is and so awesome. This showed up today. It showed up just before I came over. Yeah, I'll do a close-up on this later on so you guys can see. This is just so cool, man. Holy well, shit, man, that's awesome. You've Thanks. played every Fantasy Star, especially since online, before it was available here. Why break the Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. I like the headphones, too, and all this well, stuff. Well, I thought you'd like I'll, I'll open this up in a, in a little bit and look at this. This is very, very cool. So that was a lot of fun. Uh, I just thought we'd use this time maybe just to look back on some of our favorite video game Christmas memories. Um, Every year, we used to get one present unwrapped under the tree from Santa. And in 1987, the only thing I wanted, the only thing I could ever dream of wanting, was a Nintendo. And I wanted it so badly. And that Christmas morning, I went downstairs, and there was my brother and sister's presents under the tree. And for me, there was just a piece of paper with my name written on it. But there was a ribbon that went from that piece of paper through the living room or through the sitting room of the tree, all through the house and all the way back to the TV room. 
So it's already all of this ribbon, right? Yeah, I followed yeah, yeah. the ribbon through yeah. the house, and there, set up, hooked up to the TV, and on and ready, was a Nintendo with Super Mario Brothers in it. And I was over the moon. This was the best thing ever. And so yeah. I sat down and I started playing. And I played and played and played. And I didn't want any other presents. My parents called me to come open presents. I said, I don't want to, I don't care. There's not going to be anything as good as this in there. That's good enough. Oh, yeah. Yeah. oh believe me. Yeah. And so finally I went in, I sat down, and I kept thinking, oh, I want to get back to my game. And one of the first presents I opened was this right here. A nice copy of Super Mario Brothers 2. And I would say, this just came out. It had just come out. And I was so excited to have it because everybody was talking about it. It was brand new. It was brand so new. magical, eh? Super Mario Bros. Oh. 2 back then. Like, wow. It was incredible. So yeah. so different, yet so awesome. And so yeah. then I opened this one right here. That's right, I got Metroid for the NES at the same Christmas. And I just lost it. I was over the frickin' moon. I couldn't believe it. And then I found this one, which was the last one under the tree. The official Nintendo Player's Guide, which has been mentioned in a previous yeah, I, episode. Yeah, I brought it up. Um, everybody should have this if you're a Nintendo fan, I think. It truly is the holy grail of all Nintendo guidebooks. And at the time, it was totally unheard of to have something like this. All the maps and cheats and secrets and goodies that are inside. I couldn't believe For it. All the first generation uh, yeah. Nintendo games at the time. It, it, like, you were guaranteed you were the best player in your class if you had one of these. But I, I know, yeah. I, I, you know, I was really lucky as a kid. My parents were really good to me. I really got to say that. But, you know, there's a few that stand out for me. I mentioned it in my TurboGrafx review, but it was when I got Eastbooks 1 and 2 for Christmas that that blew my mind. Just because the expense of the machine itself, I really didn't expect to get one. And just, with, you know, I woke up Christmas morning and got that. I was like, wow. Another memory I have is a, is a good one. It was actually a year before I got the TurboGrafx CD-ROM, and that was when I got my Genesis. And I opened that up, and uh, you know it came with Alter Beast, which is a great game. And I got Last Battle, and uh, and then a friend of mine brought Space Harrier 2 over, and that was an amazing memory, you know, like just being able, you know, playing that Sega Genesis that first Christmas it was out. That was awesome stuff. So we were happy to share, you know, a little bit of our Christmas get together with you guys. And, you know, what we thought would be really cool is if you guys shared, you know, some of your video game Christmas memories with us in the thread below, you know, that would be really, really cool, eh? Yeah, well, you know what, it would be kind of like, uh, kind of like that Boxing Day when you go over and you share all the cool stuff that you got for Christmas. Let, let's try and keep that going again. Let's all really enjoy this nostalgic and awesome time of year. Absolutely. So, uh, we'd love to hear it. Do you know what I really would love to hear? I, I love reading people's Christmas memories at Christmas with video games and stuff like that. I love it, so... Anyways, happy holidays. Thanks to all my subscribers. Until next time.